Oh, 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 he showed his true colors. That's a true devil right there. You know what I'm saying? That's a dangerous devil on the face of the earth right there. The words of these You're devil's mouth are smoother than butter. They try and not talking nice to you. They try and talking very friendly to you. But what God said about them? The war within his heart. What's in his brain? War within his heart. What's in his mind? War within his heart. You want to know why the ghetto is the way it is? War within his heart. You want to know why drugs is in the black community? War within his heart. You want to know why the Latino community is infested with weapons and drugs? War within his heart. You want to know why alcoholism runs rampage and on the reservations? War within his heart. Because he came with a slick tongue. Right? Smooth words, but war was in his heart. Right now, do you not understand, black man, Latino, and Native Indian, that these devils are at war with you? You know what I'm saying? Any other race of people, any other race of people, we want to war with them. But because we are people, we are people who understand how to be compassionate back up. with back other up. nations. You know what I'm saying? Back up! Be our back, back up! Instead, back up! Back up! Exactly. He even proving that he's at war. You know what I'm saying? I'm because in his mouth, right now, his words you right now are trying to be so smooth. Don't you know what I'm saying? But he want to come and like he said, he going to fuck me up. But guess what? Yeah, that ain't going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Are. You ain't never going to fuck don't nobody up right here on about. this corner. Because guess what? Are we are God's chosen people. Don't we are his prophet. We back up. Oh, oh, call the cops on this damn devil right there. There it is. That's proof right there. That's proof right there. You see that black man, Native Indian, black woman and child. These devils talk like, no, I ain't going to do that. But guess what? He showed his true colors. That's a true devil right there. You know what I'm saying? That's a dangerous devil on the face of the earth right there. You know what I'm saying? Did y'all call the cops? Call the police. You know what I'm saying? You see that? And it's like, that's so much of the devil that they are that not even their own cops come down and deal with his own people. We hate the devil that's on the face of the earth. Now, the question black people should ask, what are we going to do to stand strong? Because for how long we've been listening to Martin Luther King and Farrakhan and keep hope alive with Jesse Jackson? For how long? You know what I'm saying? For how long? And we still in the same condition? Well, guess what? Today is a different day in 2022. Right now, you have the opportunity to stand strong and be black and proud if you know how to raise your nation, if you know and care about your people, you know what I'm saying? If you come together with your Latino brothers, with your native Indian brothers, and stand strong as a nation in the Israelite School Universal Practical Knowledge under Commanding General Harlan, because guess what? We raise men, you understand? And that's the problem we have to observe every day, the ghetto life. You know who to blame? Don't blame the black man. Don't blame the Latino and Native Indian. Do you know why? Because it's their fault. It's these devils fault. Point blank, plain and simple. Because man should not be living the earth in a, all the time of survival mode. Why do you think we do all the things we're doing? Because we're trying to survive. When God created life, he didn't create man to, uh, to survive. These devils have created a, a, a situation and a system where they benefit from all the slavery, all the oppression. They done have took all the wealth, the minerals, the oils, everything to benefit, to benefit them. You understand? And guess what they left the black man? Black man, what did the white man leave you? Let's keep it real. For the past 500 years, what has the white man left you? Not a goddamn thing except misery and chaos in the hood. 
straight up and down. And guess what? The white man has left the black man not to even show love to each other. But guess what? You know why black on black crime is happening? It's because of these devils. That's the reason why. These devils are the reason why black on black crime happening. You know what I'm saying? And because we got Uncle Toms who sell out to these devils. On top of that, that's why the, that's why the hood is the way it is. But they're the one to blame. Everything about your life, everything that how miserable it is, it's their fault. And then they hear the thing, the Bible even told us, they come with smiles, they come with nice talk, they come with uh, uh, words that sound comforting, but in their heart, it's all about warfare, you know what I'm saying? In their heart, it's all about destruction, you know what I'm saying?